IUI or intrauterine insemination, it's also called artificial insemination by some patients, is a, a process whereby the sperm is processed and washed and then placed with a tiny catheter into the uterus. What it does is it gets a higher concentration of moving sperm closer to the eggs. Ovulation induction is a method where the ovaries are stimulated with a variety of different fertility drugs. And this can be as simple as an oral medication such as Clomid to as complex as injectable fertility drugs such as FSH. They can be used either separately or together. Most often they're used together, a combination of ovulation induction uh, with intrauterine insemination. And that combination offers patients uh, the highest chance of success short of in vitro fertilization. The cost of IUI is probably going to be somewhere between one-fifth to one-tenth the cost of IVF, but the success rate is also less. So IVF is more successful in terms of per procedure, but if you don't need it, it's cheaper to do one IUI or two IUIs than it is to do IVF, but once you start doing four, five, six, seven IUIs, then all of a sudden you're getting into the cost of an IVF cycle, then it becomes cheaper to do an IVF cycle. The ideal patient for an ovulation induction cycle would be a patient with polycystic ovary syndrome who doesn't ovulate on her own on a regular basis. Those patients get pregnant very easily with the use of ovulation inducing agents. The ideal patient for an intrauterine insemination cycle would be a couple where the husband's sperm count is a little bit low or the motility, the movement of the sperm is a little bit low. I have to take with each individual to try to give them what I think their chance of success would be. Nationally, IUI or intrauterine insemination success rates run about 15 to 20 percent per cycle and that compares with what natural fertility rates are. Natural fertility rates are only about 22 percent per month and so when you have couples who are having trouble conceiving, ovulation induction and intrauterine insemination gets them close to what normal conception rates are.